was close. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Groovy Guy here. Today we're going to be having a look at Transformers E-Hobby Convo Bat. So here he is here. He is a repaint. All these guys are repaints and a bit of retooling. Uh, so the big body is Mind Wipe. The little head is from Sentinel Prime. Uh, Megaligator is Galvatron and this little gun thing is Ape Face, or Optimal Optimus, if you will. Now, the story behind this guy is he was created by G Axis uh, as an experiment into incorporating biological matter into or merging it with Transformers tech. So basically, he was just trying to create uh, what's that? Trans tech, bio tech, biotechnological stuff. Anyway. Ta-da! I'm very proud of this, so I worked hard on it, and I'll be off. That was weird. Anyway, uh, so I got this guy a few hours ago, and I've had, been having a bit of a tinker with him. He's pretty cool. Um, a few things I'd like to mention about him off the bat, a few little pecu peculiarities that I have noticed. That head doesn't want to stay on. Anyway, so here he is. The little head guy, Congo Bat, if I can pop him out. Right, well, you can pop that part out easier than you can actually pop the figure proper out. There we go. Where's the, uh, there it is. Uh, how's that going? Goes on like that, I think. There we go. So here is Convo Bat, and here is McGalligator, which is a weird name for a uh, Megatron alligator. It sounds like someone by the name of Meg who likes to throw around a lot of baseless allegations. But he's got a nice bit of paint on him, and so does uh, Convo Bat. See if we can get him into focus here. Come on. There we go. So they've got nice bits of paint, good bit of molding. And like I said, they're just repaints of other already released figures. So here is Sentinel Prime, repainted a bit. Looks pretty cool. And here is Nucleon, repainted quite a bit. Well, I mean, Nucleon didn't really have any paint in the first place, did he? So yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, here is the little Ape Face, or I don't think he actually has a name proper. I think he may be Apex or something. Anyway, he's not really referenced much in the instructions, and I just discovered that you can actually have a rather rude little winky poking out if you flip the handle out. Oh, you can actually still... Ugh, that's weird. Uh, anyway, um, for some reason as well, the instructions only reference this head as being able to go in there. And I've tried a few times, but this head here will not really clip in very well. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera. Yeah, his shoulders are a bit wide to actually slip into there properly to be used as a gun. And the uh, instructions and the box itself, he's holding the gun and there's nothing in there at all. So it looks like this guy is just along for the ride. And another peculiarity I've noticed is, uh, for some reason, McGalligator's got... Oh, come on. There we go. McGalligator's got the pin going through the legs, whereas Convobat does not. No pin there. Oh, Christ on a bike. Would you get focused at some point, please? There we go, there we go. So yeah, no 
nothing there, so his legs can easily just pop off. I'm not going to actually rip them off, they haven't popped off yet. But yeah, there's no pin in there. And onto the main body itself. It's just mine wipe with um, prime wheel jacks swords and no tail gun. No um, allegiances on him either. Uh, yeah. uh, his transformation is the same as mine wipe, so let's just do that now, shall we? Da -da -da -da. So how are you today? I hope you're well. Alright. Mm -hmm. Fold that in. Tab that into his leg there like that. There's one leg done. And other side. Spin the leg around. Fold the leg around. Fold that bit in first I guess. Fold it in. Tabs in there just like that. If you've got the mind wipe mold already, you're uh, already familiar with the transformation. The uh, rubber's a bit flippy floppy on mine at the moment. It's, just, uh, it's pretty hot here today. Well, not hot as in it's really, really yucky, muggy, humid at the moment. Just be grateful I'm not doing a face cam on this one. Let me just put it that way. Fold the arms out, get the arm around, spin, well, get the hand around, spin the arm around. Straighten the arm out, straighten the arm out, spin it around. Fold the fist out. And there we have Convo Bat in his almost robot mode. Let's uh, give him a sword, shall we? There we go. I'm going to hold it at some point, that'd be nice. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. So we got him holding his gun, uh, holding his swords, sorry. You can, if you so wish, just plug the gun onto there like that. His ankles are very, 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 very loose. So he's, he's literally just leaning back on his wings just like that. So you can lead him forward if you wish, but he'll fall forward. So he's just his ankles are loose and he's resting on his um, back wings as support struts. So take convo bat, put him into head mode, and he should just creep on like that. At some point. This uh, head socket is very, very, very tight, and the head on the little guy is very loose. There we go. He's got a nice little uh, face on his chest sort of thing. But yeah, there is Convo Bat in his robot mode. Um, a Galligator. You can sort of go with uh, Skull Crusher if you wish. But other than that, He's just along for the ride. <laughs> he is Convo Bat's only friend. So yeah, uh, very very cool little figure. Lots of swords, lots of weapons, lots of cool backstory. Uh, let's have some comparisons with him, shall we? Here he is with his Maker Giaxis. So yeah, he's pretty good for a deluxe. How about something a bit more modern? Here he is with Galby Babes. So yeah, he's definitely a uh, pretty cool character and well worth the consideration. But if you're thinking of getting him because he's something new, he's not. He's variations on a theme. He is all repaints. No remolds from what I can see anyway. It's just all the same old, same old, but repaints. Actually, hang on, we haven't done this yet, have we? Let's see if we can get a uh, nice little thumbnail. Get the wing out of it. There we go, I'd say that looks a pretty good thumbnail. 
So yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I'm going to be leaving a subscribe link as well as a link to my um, previous video for Transformers. I can't think of what... Oh, it was Megatron. That's right. Uh, Generations Megatron. I'm also going to be having a link for my playlist. And if I can, I'm going to have a link to my... Uh, debut last week in the uh, Transformers Collectors Club Australia podcast. I had a lot of fun. I uh, hope to be there again. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.